Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another D Sports Scoop video. Who would have thought we have made it to the last prediction video of the 2020 NFL season? Super Bowl 55 predictions. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, today we'll be discussing the game. It'll be more of a preview because generally we have predictions since there's several games. We go through them pretty quick because um, we don't want the vid to be incredibly long. But today we'll be discussing Tom Brady against Patrick Mahomes, old against young, experienced against experienced. Let's talk some backstory. Obviously the Packers lose to the Bucks at Lambeau Field. Tom Brady sends this team to the Super Bowl. This Buccaneers team. Something that has been so interesting, you, if you guys are new, if you guys are uh, old subscribers, the Buster Boom series, like our most popular one of that series was on the Buccaneers. And something we, me and Dylan talked about was this team, I feel like was too good to be true coming into the season. They brought in so many assets. They brought in uh, Antonio Brown, they brought in Leonard Fournette, they brought in LaShawn McCoy, they brought in obviously Tom Brady, they got Winfield. Um, and I feel like a key to this game is going to be how will Tom Brady, uh, you know, combat Mahomes and can this defense affect them? But, man, it's going to be a great game. Going into the season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I think they were really the definition of boomer bust because right. we've seen teams like this, like the Browns a couple of years ago or the Eagles back in the early 2010s, who have really they – they were dream teams and they completely flopped. And I think we thought that with all these new players coming in, the Bucs were good, but do they have the talent to put it all together? But I think the real, real – um, best thing about this team is they had their leader, Tom Brady, who could really keep everyone's ego grounded and make sure that their goal was winning and winning first. And that's what a lot of players have really bought into, and that's the reason why the Buccaneers are here. I have to admit, I didn't expect this to happen, especially considering Tom Brady looked washed at 42. Now he looks like he's in his right. prime again. So I think, again, I'm very surprised to get here, they're here, but I think they definitely deserve it. It's going to be a great matchup. What was it? Two years ago when the Patriots took on the Chiefs in the AFC yeah. Championship game and it went into overtime. That was a thriller. It was awesome. Yeah. Brady against Mahomes and Mahomes wasn't even given a chance in overtime. That's how prolific Tom Brady was. Uh, the Patriots won the toss and Brady took them down on the first drive and scored. This time, that, I don't think that'll happen. I think that Mahomes has definitely improved his game since that meeting about uh, it's exactly two years ago yesterday tom brady he's gotten older his he's still incredible he's surrounded by much better assets than he had in new england in my opinion and uh patrick mahomes has gotten better i think it's gonna be obviously a good good matchup uh um just keep your eye on that uh the mahomes brady the whole dynamic of that and then defensively we the bucks have the chiefs outmatched the running game the bucks have the chiefs outmatched we saw leonard fournette's 20 yard touchdown run i think that was like a 0.3% chance of him turning that into a touchdown before the play started. Yeah, that was that, crazy. That's ridiculous. That was an amazing run. That yeah. was like top highlight of the season. Like we saw vintage Fournette. Well, obviously not vintage because he's still young, but like we saw Jaguars Fournette from a couple of seasons ago. Uh, so the combination of Fournette and Jones, the Chiefs are going to have trouble containing that. Obviously, they have Chris Jones, but it's going to be a tough one to contain. I agree with all your points there with the, the uh, run game. Obviously, much, much better now that Fournette learned how to catch and how to play football. Got to say one thing about the Brady turning this Buccaneers team into what they are today. And I've got to say, it's the season where he's proven that he's not a system quarterback. All throughout the last, I would say, five or six years, people have been saying, well, without Belichick, what's Brady going to do? And I've been one of them. I've been saying it's the system. And I've got to just own up to it and say that Tom Brady is his own player. And he, if he wins the Super Bowl this year, I don't think there should be any conversation on who the best player ever to play the game is because I think it's Tom Brady. That being said, I do think the Chiefs are going to give them a really good matchup, just shot for shot football, and may the best team win. Something I'm a massive believer in, and I've, I'm a Giants fan. I've hated Tom Brady for so long. You see my poster right here. And the thing that just separates him from everyone is is he wins those games in, in the championship against Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers doesn't. One in four. Tom Brady wins those games. His first year, he goes to Lambeau Field. It's cold. Uh, the conditions are bad. Something we talked about in our predictions. 
and it's 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 just it's so undeniable how good he is. Dylan, great point about system wise. Yeah, I I personally was someone Tom Brady. I just thought he was old. I thought he wasn't gonna do great. I thought this Buccaneers team would go eight and eight, and obviously they have not. And Tom Brady, it's it's just a story of a of someone who's like athletically gifted and just someone who brings up everyone else something we've seen with lebron james i mean i hate to com- not trying to compare them like that but just players who bring their teammates up he threw three interceptions against the green bay packers it's about how you combat that and how you come back from that aaron Rodgers got the ball back twice couldn't score tom brady gets it and he's clinical that's the difference between go- amazing quarterbacks and goats and, and people like brady and i think that's why we're, i'll get into my prediction i have the bucks winning this game we, Brady has been so good unexpectedly in Tampa Bay that we're starting to um, question the greatness of Belichick. How good really was he? Because we're seeing Brady doing so well in this totally new system, this um, air it out deep system that we thought, eh, a 43-year-old quarterback can't do that. He's proving everyone wrong. And I think it's, again, I have also not been so fond of Tom Brady. I'm a Jets fan. and. It's really, it, it's unbelievable how he's been able to sustain this for so long. But obviously, he can't do it without help. I think you have to see that maybe one of the reasons why Brady really did have such a down year in 20, 2019 was because maybe not because of him, but more because of the supporting cast around him. Like last year, his number one weapon was Julian Edelman. And Julian Edelman's a solid player, but he's not near a number one receiver. I think right this year, I think we've seen what Tom Brady can do with a really good supporting cast. Mike Evans has been, you know, Mike Evans. Chris Godwin's really good. He made good. He, he had he struggled through the playoffs, but he had a couple big catches. He, they obviously they have Gronk and they have um, Tyler Johnson, the rookie. He has made a couple of huge catches. He doesn't get many, but he yeah. when they need a big catch, they look to the rookie and he is insanely clutch. He's gonna be really good in a few years. Don't forget A B. Scotty Miller, and a really good offensive line anchored by Wirfs and Ali Marpet. This is, I mean, he's got all the weapons he needs, and they are. that's why they're in the Super Bowl. It's not just Tom Brady. It's the team around him, and again, that defense. That defense that probably will get Antoine Winfield and Whitehead. Yeah, he. I mean, honestly, they're pro- if there's anyone that's really going to stop um, Kelsey and Hill, it's Tampa Bay because – to stop them, you need good safeties over the top that can help blanket them. And I think Tampa Bay, even though they struggled early on, once they no longer played man against Tyree Kill, one-on-one with Carlton Davis, which for some reason actually sounds like a bad idea, they played really good defense. And I feel like they're probably the team that probably, in my opinion, most likely to have a chance at stopping that team with two really good young safeties. The Bucks definitely of the teams like they they stand probably the best chance of stopping this Chiefs offense. But we just saw how dominant this Chiefs offense is. How everybody was like, honestly, fifty percent of people I'd say were picking the Bills to win over the Chiefs. Yeah. And the Chiefs Guilty. destroyed them. Like yeah, the Chiefs just the Bills didn't stand a chance all game long. It was ridiculous. And. That's just how Mahomes works. Uh, some of the Bills' points were scored just garbage time. There's no, there's no stopping this Chiefs offense. I don't think the Bucks will be able to do it. Maybe better than others, and I think it'll be a close game because, at least recently, most Super Bowls have been close. Um, but uh, we've seen it. It could turn into a blow. I don't think it will, especially with the ability of Tom Brady. I, I just, it's a really tough one. I really don't know, and it's going to be a really exciting one to watch. But I just find it hard to get bet against Mahomes right now. I'm going to have to pick the Chiefs. Yeah, I'm going to – I've been picking them all the way, and I'm going to go with them again, the Kansas City Chiefs. I think a big thing, just like tactically-wise, for the Buccaneers team, when Kelsey lines up next to defensive lineman, chip block him, give him a hit before he goes – and, and that would be a massive, I saw the commentators, I think Romo was saying that, um, someone you obviously can trust, because he basically predicted the Buccaneers and Chiefs to be in the Super Bowl. But give him Tiger Hill chip blocks before they go, let them not get, you know, you know, rile them up a little bit before the play. But sorry, sorry. You can I just don't think that'll be nearly effective enough to stop a guy like Travis Kelsey. It, it happened, it, it gave I, the Chiefs first downs last time because they didn't chip block him. Yeah, you know, I know. And Kelsey, I think, it I gives them time. Not, not bit, in football, any little, any little hit will yeah. stop a player. Everything matters. Yeah. So a but little chip block yeah. will go a long way. They'll yeah. figure it out. It's not something that'll stop him. It might slow him down, but it won't stop him. Yeah, but it's one of those things that could stop a, a third down conversion, which is yeah. huge. But it won't stop the player. That's what they need to do. 
when I think of this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team, I kind of like I know they haven't played nearly as well as this team, but they were this the, that defense reminds me of the San Francisco 49ers defense from last year. They have a really good pass rush led by JPP and um, a JPP Sue. Vita Vea, and then you got great linebackers, Shaquille Barrett. You got great linebackers in Levante David and Devin White, and and they've got a, a really good safeties in um, uh, Antoine Winfield, and most likely if he's healthy, because they missed both of them for a large part of the game, Winfield and um, Whitehead. So I think this is this team I, again. They, I think they have one of the and if you watch the 49ers game, you saw that they shut the Chiefs' offense down for three quarters. And Todd Bowles is a very good defensive coordinator. I know him again as a Jet as my Jets coach, and he was very solid. I think he might be back in the head coaching industry sooner than rather than later, but that's a different topic. He will do a very good job against Mahomes. But I think when you look at again back to that last year's Super Bowl. What the 49ers were missing were, was an offense that could press the Chiefs. If I actually go with the upset, I think the Buccaneers will win. Love to see it. We got two Bucks, two Chiefs. That's that's the way to end the prediction that's series. Mm. Um, wow. I mean, thank you guys so much. I don't even know. We probably gained 10,000 views off all of our predictions. Our weekly predictions would consistently do very well. So we want to thank you guys so much. Man, it's our last video of the NFL regular season crazy to think about thank you guys for all the support you've given us throughout all this whole how many months four months uh you know well if anything we'll probably have more content coming to you guys in the off season comment down below your predictions on instagram if you go follow us i will be posting our record so far throughout the playoffs i think surge is winning i might be surge wrong but lead, i am but definitely mm, yeah i'm surge definitely not lead, i got both. Everyone's oh. him. i went no, i'm not no, i'm not because I, I got both of the championship games wrong i had the Bills and then I had the uh, Packers, so I got both. Yeah, I only on. got one of those. I had the Chiefs. I got one. Yeah. Chiefs. Uh, but Chiefs. again, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment your predictions, more mock drafts, all that kind of content, off season stuff. So make sure to stay with us if you like all of our, you know, in season content because we will come out with a ton in the off season. The Buster Boom series will be coming back. That's crazy to think about. We're saying wow. that that yeah, will be coming back. Soon, but not not soon, but it that's coming up. This summer. Like we're like gonna March, finish it this March, year too. No, this yeah, year. we're gonna finish. I, it'll, it'll have to be after the draft right yeah yeah after but, um, probably this summer yeah but uh thank you guys so much for watching see you in the next one